Hey friends, Peter and John are on their way to the sports shop to buy their first football. But they came across an unexpected problem. Oh no, John! This ball costs three hundred and fifty rupees. I only have two hundred with me. I have uh, rupees hundred, Peter. So in addition, we have rupees three hundred in total. But that's not enough. What will we do now? Hey, Peter and John. How nice to see you here. Are you guys planning to play football? Hi, Banu. That was the plan. The ball cost three fifty, but we only have three hundred. Mm, so, how much more do we need to buy the ball? Well, by subtracting three hundred from three fifty, uh, that is fifty rupees more. Yes. Thanks, Banu, for teaching us subtraction in the previous lesson. Without it, we would not have been able to realize this. Haha, <laughs> that's great, Peter and John. Both of you are mad geniuses now. Yes, thanks to Banzo classes. But now, how do we buy this ball without having the money for it? I can lend you the fifty rupees now. But remember, you owe me that money. Oh, thanks, Banu. So, Banu, I have a doubt. Now that we owe you fifty rupees, how can we mathematically represent that? Excellent question, Peter. In mathematics, the fifty rupees can be represented through a concept called negative numbers. Oh, Banu, I remember negative numbers from your previous lessons about the types of numbers. They are the numbers on the left side of the number line, right, Banu? That's absolutely right, John. Negative numbers are found on the left side of the number line, and They are used to represent the loss of a value. Hmm. So since we had fifty less, this would be represented as minus fifty on the number line, right, Banu? Yes, Peter. But guys, do you remember what the set of positive and negative numbers is known as? Hmm. Are they whole numbers? No, Peter. They are known as integers. Correct, John. Integers are whole numbers, and they can contain both positive and negative numbers. But remember, integers don't include decimals or fractions. They are most effectively used to show negative values and positive values. Wow, Banu, we don't know what we would have done without you. Yes. Now we know about negative numbers, integers, and have a football too. What are we waiting for, Peter and John? Let's go play football and become the winners. Hey friends, by now I hope you have learned about negative numbers and integers. Remember, we can use them to make our lives easier. Let me give you a quick test. Tell me, friends, which one of the following numbers is not an integer? Got the right answer? Let us know in the comments below, and do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel for many such fun videos. If you want to practice more such questions, we have prepared a worksheet for you. The link. Is in the description. Hurry, download it, and start your journey to become a mad genius.